Hello, my loves. Super excited. Yay! I have my international yum yum box. Last month was France, and it was really good. They had a lot of really good things in here. Let me put this. I've got a boxy charm i got to put aside. Okay. So, yeah. Last month was France. This month is Poland. Very, I'm very excited. Although I have a lot of Polish markets near me, so Polish food is not, like, the hardest to get for me personally. I still think it's a cool box. So, welcome to Poland. The little pamphlet with everything in it, as well as ingredients. I love that they have the ingredients in here. That makes a big deal to me. If any food company box is seeing that, ingredients is very, very important. And if the ingredients are not English, please put something... If you're sending it to America, just put something where we can, you know, something on like a piece of paper so we can see what is in the product. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going on a whole rampage today, like leaving what I'm supposed to be talking about. Let's go back to, let's get back to the subject. So here you can rate your favorite goodies and then you can like <clears throat> screenshot that one and try to win something. That's how that works. So. This is our Polish box. Let's get into this and see what we have here. I'm going to try to open this so that maybe I can see what some of this stuff is. So, these look really good. I have never... What's surprising is I've never seen any of this. So, kind of like that. It's different. I love the chips, and these look like chips. Well, they're obviously chips, but they're not like thin potato chips like I love. They're like really like potato potato chips. But they look good. So these are Tapsy Cheese and Onion. Oh, I love cheese and onion, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, cheese and onion potato chips. I'm not... Yeah, it's just potato. Potato chips. Cheese and onion potato chips. They look really good, and I will be totally destroyed. No, because that's just my favorite thing. Chips. Next, we have Paprika Peanuts. Those look very interesting. So let's see what, we, what it says about them. So it is Oxum Peanuts with Paprika. Over dinner tables throughout the U.S. you'll hear past the salt and pepper, but in Poland you'll hear something different, past the paprika. And I like that. They eat the Polish cheese when it's colored. It's colored with paprika, not artificial coloring. I just love that, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, peanuts, um, peanuts coated in paprika. They look really good. You gotta love the kids in this neighborhood. Like, fuck that shit, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Okay, we have... I have no idea. These are cookies. I'm just gonna say cookies. And I don't even know... What are they, currant? Is that currant? I know Polish love currant. Let's see what this is. No, it's rose filling. Okay, that's interesting. Made in Turan, one of the oldest cities in Poland. These, um... Perni what are they? Perniki? Pernitskis? Pornitskis. Pornitskis. Something like that. They're gingerbread cookies. They're famous across the country and for good reason. The story of this spiced cookie is rooted in Polish history and stands as a testament to the perseverance of its people. Wow, there's like a whole story that goes on this. Like World War II, they were making these. Holy shit, this is interesting. I've never had these and I'm quite interested to try them. Chokeberry, it says. Briar Rose and Chokeberry. So that must be the Chokeberry. I thought it was like poison berry or something. I don't know, it might be the same. Those are good. Okay, this is kind of neat. I've never seen anything like this that came from anywhere besides like Japan or Taiwan or Korea. Usually, usually they're Asian, China, from somewhere like that. But these are Polish. Like they look like Taki, like the Pocky sticks, Taki. Now I'm getting <laughs> Taki. I just like that's that would be the Polish Pocky stick would be Taki. Like yes. Okay. <laughs> This is Solio, um, Solio. So if you were born, if you were with us in July when we visited South Korea, what did I tell you? You'll remember the tall chocolate dipped um, cookie sticks called Papero. Guess what? You're going to try the Pol Polish version. It's like they knew what I was thinking, right? Are we on the same page? I totally told you. So these are not just any pretzels. They're flaky. They're slightly sweet. They're Polish pretzels. And these have caramel. I'm not crazy about caramel, but I will try them. And my mother loves caramel, so I'll give her if I don't like them. This just looks very delicious. Uh, I've never seen this one either. This is a surprise. I mean, I grew up in a private Polish school. I am Polish, but I didn't grow up with Polish heritage because my father's not around and he's the Polish one. But I did go to a private Polish school, and so I did kind of get, like, the culture in with that. And I not with, not only got the culture, it wasn't, like, so I got addicted to the food. I love Polish food. It's some of my favorite. And I have a lot of Polish markets around. There's, like, a whole little Poland in our town. And... 
they have such good yummies in there and such good chocolate and the prices are amazing like so amazing they're so cheap and i love it but I've never seen this stuff. So it's like I've seen a lot of European stuff and a lot of Polish European stuff, but I've never seen this. So I kind of like it's different. Um, Wavel, double nut Wavel. I don't, they look like, does that look so good? Or does that look so, looks freaking good, okay? Chocolate bar. Can't complain with no chocolate bar. Next, we have Wav um, Wawel Milkies. You might be wondering why there's a tube of toothpaste in the front of the package, is there? Oh my god, there is. I would not have ever even noticed that. I would have thought it was paint. See it? That's like a tube of toothpaste. So, well, actually it isn't toothpaste. Well, let me see. If they say it's paint, I'm telling you, it's like I made this box. It's milk in a tube. Okay, not quite. <laughs> Close, but not really. Um, Poland sweetened condensed milk sold in tubes is extremely popular. Yes, it is. Um, hey, don't judge. We're the country that puts cheese into canisters. The Polish love dairy, like cream and milk, and they love that. The Polish squeeze milk tubes into ice cream, fruits, cakes, cuppies, cu cuppies, cakes, and coffee. And yes, you guessed it, directly into their mouth. So with this rich chocolate bar, a thick layer of creamy milk chocolate surrounds a smooth, milky center. So yeah, this is kind of like those, again, what is it, the... Are they Chinese, Japanese, like the, kind of like the little eggs that you get, the Kindor, Kindor. It's kind of like the Kindor bars with the, uh, like chocolate, but with milk inside. That's what, yeah, right here, see? Right there. Kind of like the Kindors, that's what I'm thinking, Polish version of Kindor. I think the Polish and the Korean, they, they got similar taste, okay. except for Polish more dairy. All right, next, what do we have here? We have Tak. Taco, taco meringue cookies with lemon cream. Mm, oh, jeez. Look at the meringue. Those look really good, okay? So here's a challenge. Name a lighter, crispier, meltier cookie that's mer than meringues. Trick question, because you can't. It's one of the most delectable cookies in the world. Mmm. Yum, yum. Okay, and next, that's the box, except for all the candies. And I did open this because I gave my mother one earlier. What did I give her? I gave her one of these. She said it was very, very good. And it was a creamy, um, so cute, the packaging. I don't think I'll be able to eat it because my teeth are terrible. But it's like a little creamy um, caramel with a little cow on it. So let's see what that is. That is Kroki Milk, um, yeah, Kroki. Kroki Milk Creamy Fudge. All right, then we have Masanka Fruit Jellies, which are these. They are what looks like some different flavors, maybe. Yeah, I think, oh no, we have three different flavors at least. Let me grab these. So we have little fruit candies in here. And then this one is lemon, pineapple, raspberry. So I think they're like chocolate with fruit inside, if I'm not mistaken. And then we also, oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. We also have some plum chocolates. So chocolate with plum, Polish love plum. The, um, what are they called? The dough, they're not donuts. They're, um, oh my God, I should know what they're called. They're not donuts, but they have plum inside. They're, Polish don't call them donuts. They call them pachkis. Pachkis? I think they're pachkis, right? I don't know. Very good though. What the hell is this? This looks delicious. It's soft too. It's soft, so I might be able to eat it. What is this? What is this? Okay. I don't know. I don't see it. What is it? Okay. Rainbow marshmallow. Ooh, at first glance, it seems like the candy makers got a bit too creative when they came up with this. Vanilla marshmallow with fruit jellies and a thin layer of dark chocolate. Oh my god, that's interesting. You can see exactly what they're talking about. See the colors? Yeah. So that's cool. We got one of those. Another pineapple candy in here. More plum. These are called lobster tails. I don't know why they're called lobster tails, but they're little candies. And they call them lobster tails. And they're, I don't know what they are. They have peanuts and milk and black carrot juice. Pink, they're called lobster tails because they have pink and white otter shells. And then they're like pungent peanut and rum flavored hard candies. Very interesting. So we have a couple of those. And what else do we have in here? Anything else? Is that it? That's it. Just the, the little lobster tails and the plum chocolate. So it's okay. It's not my favorite in the whole world. Um, 
like a lot of these like the fruit candy with this it's not my favorite type of thing it just isn't that's just it's a preference you know what i mean very cool to try the plum i'm not a fan of plums so i don't even know if i will try those milk kind of uh, doesn't do much for me but it's good this is totally cool to get and this is interesting the meringue cookies they look good but i don't know if that's really my thing i don't like caramel so the box is like not my total favorite because it's not my thing but I think they did good. I think it's nice for what you get. You get like a decent amount of stuff and I will definitely try it all. Me and Eric will be trying all of that like we did with the French one. I love the French one a lot more, I think. My favorite, I'm thinking though, I have Universal, Universal Yums and I also have Tokyo Treat Box. That hasn't come yet. I, I'm I'm going to see, I'm going to do a video on Tokyo Treat, Bo Treat Box when I get it. I'm thinking that one's going to win over the universal yums but i think it's an awesome box if you want to try like different snacks from around the world it's really cool i think it's like 25 dollars. i think which i don't know if it's exactly worth i think it is because shipping if you were to buy new things from europe or from anywhere overseas the shipping is ridiculously expensive so with that in mind you're getting a big box of yummies you can share with your family and friends and you're not paying shipping like it would the shipping on that would be legitimately probably the cheapest would be ten dollars so it's really not that bad when i think about it like that i have to think about it and take everything into into thought so tons of love thank you so much for watching my videos and i hope everybody is doing super kick-ass take care bye